Hey, I am Manish Muljandani. I have secured third rank in NEET 2017 and 10th rank in AIMS 2017. Now, I will be giving you some tips for the last moment preparation of AIMS and NEET. So, as every one of you know, that only one month or even less than that is left for the examination and the efforts which you have put in for all the past few months maybe or, or maybe years have to be consolidated now and you have to prepare yourself in this one month in such a way that you will be able to give your best in the exam basically what you have prepared how much have you worked hard how much have you studied how much have you created ruckus how much have you created a uh, nuisance that does not matter what ultimately is gonna matter is how much you score in the examination that's gonna decide your future that's gonna decide the college which you get and that's gonna decide the further course of your life so friends one thing that is very important for starting the last moment preparation for any examination is that you should avoid reading new concepts or new information for now because there is very less probability that you will be able to retain it for the examination your prime focus should be to revise what you have already read and if there are some topics which are important and you haven't read them then uh, you should look at them at uh, for once but your prime focus should be to revise what you have read now uh, having a sub uh, coming on to the subject wise approach first talking about biology so friends as i always said and as your faculties must also have told you that the NEET and AIMS paper of biology is mainly centered around the NCRT. Basically 95% or 90% questions are directly taken from the NCRT and no high level of concepts are required in the same. You just have to mug up the things and you have to tick the answer. That's it and you get marks for it. For starting the preparation of biology, if you have made some notes, try going through them. If possible, read the NCRT thoroughly once again lay special emphasis on the figures and tables and charts that are given in the NCRT biology and if possible also try referring to the old edition of NCRT that is the edition which was in circulation till 2004 and this would be sufficient for you to crack at least 80 out of 90 questions now talking about the rest 10 questions which are not taken from the NCRT uh, very frankly speaking these questions are of very high level not high not of high level not high level of concepts but they actually involve very high level of uh, knowledge which generally a student is not expected to have at plus two level it's not expected for a student at plus two level to read campbell or entire truman and mug up everything so basically what i personally did i didn't prepare for these 10 questions my prime focus was on those 80 questions and my target was to solve all those 80 questions that were to be asked on the NCRT correctly. If your, if your strike rate in NCRT questions is high, then there is a high probability that you will score high. So for biology, refer the NCRT, charts, figures and diagrams which are given in the NCRT must be specially emphasized and don't study new matter. That's it for biology. Coming on to chemistry. Uh, like biology, most of the paper of chemistry in NEET is uh, from the NCRT. So, for inorganic and organic, stick to the NCRT. Don't uh, go for facts which are taught in JE or which are important for any other examination uh, like uh, JIPMER or BHU or AMU. These will not help you in scoring in NEET. You have to uh, lay prime focus on the NCRT for organic and inorganic. Try solving a lot of problems of organic chemistry so that you do not forget the reactions in the uh, exam and regularly go on revising your inorganic chemistry notes in NCRT so that the facts which are very important and you should know you do not forget them and for physical chemistry physical chemistry is just like physics so you have to uh, first of all if you have made a formula copy well and good just go through that formula copy again and again and keep on solving questions if you have not made refer to the handbooks of any of the coaching class like Alan or Akash basically the handbooks have a lot of formulas not uh, apart from the important ones they also have some formulas which may not be so important for from the exam point of view so what I particularly suggest in this one month you should make a formula copy of yours 
in physics as well as for physical chemistry in which you have to write only the important formulas not even the formulas which are uh, which have been taught to you or which you have derived but are not important from exam point of view you should avoid them and basically your formula copy is the best uh, way to revise and if it's uh, written by you so handwritten things are generally tend to stick in our memory so i suggest that for physics and for physical chemistry first the first thing that you should do you should make a formula copy apart from that you should practice questions uh, the ncrt of physical chemistry is not important especially that of class 11th is not important uh, but you should uh, go through the ncrt of uh, solutions of all the topics in class 12th organic chemistry as well as physical chemistry that include surface chemistry that is a very important topic the defects that have been dealt in detail in the ncrt are very important and must be specially emphasized on and some uh, listing some particular topics which are important from chemistry you should uh, lay focus on thermodynamics you should lay focus on uh, periodic table chemical bonding uh, s block p block and hydrogen they don't uh, ask in very much detail only the superficial information of the same is required p block should be read thoroughly from the ncrt electrochemistry chemical kinetics ionic and chemical equilibrium and all topics of physical chem atomic structure all topics of physical chemistry have to be studied only superficially the numericals that will be asked in the examination would be very simple they would be formula based put the value get the answer get marks get rank get score that's it so do not go into the details of physical chemistry metallurgy should be read only from the ncrt be thorough with goc the trends of acidity basicity nucleophilicity electrophilicity are important from exam point of view and should be read uh, thoroughly hydrocarbons no factual information is required only the basic reactions are important and uh, polymers biomolecules and chemistry in everyday life must be read only from the ncrt and uh, they do not have a very high weightage but if the if a question is asked from those chapter it would be very easy it would be only information based and if you have read the chapter once you will be able to solve that question correctly without any efforts that's it for chemistry now coming on to physics now physics is the most dreaded subject of all students who are aspiring for neat and aims or rather for the majority of students but physics is not that difficult especially talking from the neat point of view the physics paper the level of the physics paper is very low frankly speaking if you solve the paper once uh, by remembering all the formulas there would be hardly a four or five questions which you won't be able to solve physics of neat is simply put the value get the answer you have to put the value in the formula so you have to remember the formula and as i told the best way to remember formulae is by making a formula copy so as i told for physical chemistry you should make a formula copy for physics and go on revising it once you are thorough with the formulas you should go on applying them by solving questions and the ncrt of physics is not important from neat point of view so and only a few chapters of ncrt like semiconductors should be read and the rest chapters uh, should be, uh, can be skipped now uh, talking uh, from a general point of view you should solve variety uh, many question papers which have been set by different set of faculties so you should prefer the test series of different uh, coachings and after you have solved the questions you should check them you should analyze them thoroughly you should revise them you should revise the mistakes which you have committed if there is a particular question or there is there is a particular concept which you are doubtful about you should go to the faculty you should ask them and you should uh, clear all your doubts before the examination and uh, talking about the time management strategy since it is a 720 marks paper and 180 questions will be asked in 180 minutes so dosto ek minute hi aapke paas ek sawal hal karne ke liye to sab maine main apni personal strategy aapko batata hu मैंने बायोलॉजी सेक्शन पहले अटेंड किया था विच आई फिनिश्ड इन अबाउट 35 फाइव मिनट्स इन नीट बिकॉज दैट वॉज वेरी ईजी एंड देन आई आई मूवड ऑन टू फिजिक्स आफ्टर विच आफ्टर वन एंड हाफ आवर आई मूव ऑन टू केमिस्ट्री एंड देन आई मूवड ऑन टू बायोलॉजी अगेन आई चेक डॉल माई रिस्पॉन्सिस देन आई फिल्ड दो एम आई शीट देन आई मूवड ऑन टू फिजिक्स देन आई मूवड ऑन टू केमिस्ट्री आफ्टर I had filled in the OMR for the first time. There were some questions which I had circled, which I wasn't able to solve in the first attempt, or which I was doubtful about. Then I had approx half an hour left in which I solved those questions, 
and believe me this strategy uh, improved my uh, score drastically so this is my own strategy every one of you is different every one of you can have a different strategy which suits you uh, since time is very less you should try your strategy for one or two tests and you should finalize on them because less than a um, less than a month is left for the examination in the last week you should only focus on the short notes and the formula copy which you have made and for the last 2 3 days you should not focus on studying you should focus on staying relaxed you should stay very relaxed and you should have in mind that i have done everything i have studied everything and nobody has the ability to stop my selection mera to selection ho hi jayega isi mindset ke sath exam mein jaiye exam mein yadi aap tension se jayenge anxiety mein jayenge to definitely aapka score affect hoga aapke performance affect hogi aapki rank affect hogi aur aapki mehnat ka aapko fal nahi mil payega so isiliye at this moment stay relax be comfortable and just stick to the basics no extra information required just revise what you have read and you will definitely rock best of luck thank you